Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Ben Singer. Tina has the evening off. We begin tonight with Alec Murdoch. He was back in front of a judge this morning. He hoped the virtual hearing would lead to his release, but even though the judge did grant him bond, leaving jail now may be harder than ever. WSAV's Andrew Davis joining us now live with why. Well, one of the largest bonds in South Carolina history, $7 million. That's what Alec Murdoch will have to post to get out of jail. A judge set down that decision at a virtual hearing this morning, the same hearing where we heard from Alec Murdoch talk about the first time about life behind bars and his alleged victims. My head is on straighter. I'm thinking clearer than I have in a long, long time. Those were just some of the first words we've heard from Alec Murdoch since he was charged with a series of financial crimes. In a virtual hearing this morning that was not allowed to be recorded, the former South Carolina lawyer said for the first time in 20 years, he is clean of opioids. Trying to sway Judge Allison Lee that he is mentally stable, Murdoch said he was still detoxing on September 4th, the day he tried to have himself killed. And soon after that, quote, I quickly realized that I made a terrible mistake that I needed to be there for my son. The South Carolina Attorney General's office pointed to the total of 48 financial charges he still had pending, the more than dozen victims, some of which were friends, others he took advantage of, and that he allegedly stole more than $6.8 million from over a six-year period. They said some of his victims have gotten threats since this case started, and they believe he's still a danger to himself and to others, adding, quote, when you have someone like this who's at the height of power and influence and prestige and then falls from grace, that makes them particularly unhinged, and I think that's what we are seeing. Murdoch's attorneys asked for a low enough bond so he could return to rehab and continue his healing. Judge Allison Lee said she was still concerned about his mental state and the people who might help Alec personally and financially if he got out. She set down a $7 million bond, which Murdoch would have to pay in full to be released adding he's innocent until proven guilty at a trial and that has not occurred but i do give some considerations to the allegations and the impact and i feel appropriate to do so we also did learn today that all but two of murdoch's alleged victims have been quote made whole financially by murdoch that includes the satterfield family and alec plans to file a confessional of judgment agreeing to pay the family 4.3 million dollars that's money he allegedly stole from Gloria Satterfield's estate. If he does post bond, Murdoch would be monitored, randomly drug tested, and would have to go to a rehab facility in South Carolina. His lawyers already say they plan to appeal that decision. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you. And if you would like to learn more about the background of this case and the investigations, you can find it at wsav.com slash Murdoch. Tonight at Savannah Man.